he's in trouble now. What do you want from me? I want you to be a cop again. You gotta do something. Axel, if you damage any city property... You're in a snowplow? Yeah, we're in a damn snowplow. What's the problem? A lot of blind spots in the snowplow. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2024 action comedy sequel, Beverly Hills Cop, Axel F. The film is directed by Mark Malloy and it stars Eddie Murphy, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, we have Taylor Page, Judge Reinhold, John Aston, Paul Reiser and Kevin Bacon. Okay, so this is the fourth outing for Axel Foley, and this time, um, Axel Foley's been on the force a long time now. He's still in, um, back at his city in uh, Detroit. He's still doing what he does on the streets, um, and he gets a call um, one night from his good friend Billy Rosewood, played by Judge Reinhold, warning him that um, Axel's daughter, Jane, played by Taylor Page, is in trouble. She is a defence lawyer. She is representing someone who's claiming that um, he was framed uh, by some cro crooked cops. Uh, she is warned off the case. and Her life is threatened, which is enough to get Eddie Murphy's Axel Foley back to Beverly Hills and on the case. Along the way, all sorts of adventures, escapades happen. Um, and it's up to Axel to try and solve the case once again along the ride with some old friends. Right, what are my thoughts on Beverly Hills Cop, Axel F? Well, to be fair, when we all heard, if you like, I mean, there was obviously a sense of excitement to hear that Beverly Hills Cop was coming back. Um, a full-on Beverly Hills Cop sequel with Eddie Murphy. I've personally been waiting for this for a long, long time. I'm a big fan of Eddie Murphy and the Beverly Hills Cop films. Um, they're all really a lot of fun, generally speaking. The first two especially. The third one, I think we can all agree, is a bit of a damp squid. But there are some moments in there to enjoy. Um, but So while there was a sense of excitement that there was a fourth one coming, there was also a, a bit of a sense of fear too. Is it going to work now? It's been so long since the last one. Um, is it just going to be terrible? So we all had that kind of fear. Well, I'm here to tell you guys that after watching this, um, I had an enormous amount of fun with this film. Um, I think tonally they just got it right. Um, it feels like a Beverly Hills Cop film. It looks like a Beverly Hills Cop film. Eddie Murphy you know, as as dialed into Axel Foley again, um, just as you remember him for the most part. And it it's a bit of a triumph this as a and a return to form for the series. In my opinion, I think this is probably the best Beverly Hills Cop film since the first. I think this is probably a little bit better than the second, um, if I'm being honest. And I'm a big, quite a big fan of the second. I think it's pretty good. But this hits all the right notes. It's heavy on nostalgia, but it's not, you know, force feeding it. Yeah, you know, you get um, music that you'll recognise from the mainly the first film um, and bits of the second, and not just the music from Harold Faltermeyer that's kind of been kind of remixed a bit. But also, like, the songs that you heard in the first one, um, you know, they've kind of been remixed and kind of, uh, you know, churned back out into this film, which, if done incorrectly, could have just been cheesy. Um, and for me, it, it just, they just felt right. It felt, it, it really lifted the film, the choice of songs and the direction they went to go in with that. So it, it worked well. They got the nostalgia hit just about right. Um, we got the return of many, many characters that, you know, we know and love from this franchise. So we got the return of Billy, we got the turn, return of Taggart, um, and obviously um, Paul Reiser's Jeffrey, who's now the chief of police in Detroit. Um, and they've all got important roles to play in the film, and they all got their moments to shine, and it was really, really nice as well. But... We also get new additions here. We get Taylor Page, who is Axel Foley's daughter. Um, and this this had the potential to not... I wouldn't say spoil the film, but it was getting to the point where her bitterness towards her dad, Axel Foley, was getting a bit... Okay, we get it. You're angry with him, sort of thing. 
but it, it never really crossed that line. You know what I mean? It got to a point where there was a realization from her as a character that she'd probably gone too far. Um, so it just worked that relationship between the two of them. And they did have some good chemistry together. Um, it worked quite well. And then we've got Joseph Gordon Levitt as Detective Bobby, uh, a Beverly Hills cop, cop who. Um, teams up with Axel, really. He's really the, his partner here in this film for the majority of it, along with his daughter. Um, and he's a good addition. It works quite well. There's some great sequences with him and Axel, especially the one in the helicopter, which you will have seen in the trailer. My only issue, I think, with his character, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, is he's not given a satisfying ending for his character, an arc that ends... Uh, like at the end of the film, everybody else's arcs are kind of tied off very nicely, but his character's just kind of forgotten at the end of the film, which I thought was, oh, I thought, I thought it was going to go differently and he might have ended up, um, you know, and you might have physically seen him end up with a certain character, but it, it, no, they just kind of said, right, okay, that's, the, that's all you're getting for him, from him now. Um, the, the, the addition of Surge... I'm not sure we needed, who we will recognise from previous Beverly Hills Cop films. I think that was a character that the film didn't really need. It felt like they were just trying to force in another um, legacy character, if you like. Um, it didn't ruin the film. It didn't overstay his welcome or anything, but um, I, definitely I don't think the film needed it. And then we've got Kevin Bacon here in this film too. Um, and I won't, you, you, no prizes for guessing who the villain is in this film. Um, you'd have to be a bit of an imbecile not to figure it out within the first five seconds of meeting Kevin Bacon's character. And again, while we all love Kevin Bacon, obviously he's a great actor and he's very welcome in most films that you see, um, he's kind of now been typecast as the villainous character in these types of movies. As soon as you see him, you're like, yep, he's a villain. That's him. Um, and th so there was no real mystery here as to who, you know, the villain was. And you get to see, obviously, Axel doing his detective work and figuring it all out. But essentially, like us, within the first five seconds of meeting Kevin Bacon's character, we figured out he's the villain, and so is Axel. Um, so then it's just really the process of how he's going to go prove it all sort of thing. Um, so I think it probably was would have been a better idea to have a different villain or a different actor playing the villain um, and have it as a little bit more of a surprise, but it, it certainly didn't ruin the film because the film wasn't really... It, the Beverly Hills Cop films have never really been about that, you know, the mystery of who the bad guy is, really. It's been more a case of, you know, um, Axel Foley doing what he does and giving us all laughs and giggles and plenty of action along the way, and this film is no different. Um, it was genuinely funny, I thought, at times, this. I thought he was absolutely on form, Eddie Murphy, but so were some of the other characters as well. Um, it, edgy as well. It felt edgy again. And, you know, it was. It had plenty of swearing in it, this, which I was really, really pleased to see. You know, it felt like, you know, they weren't trying to go for a really PG audience or anything like that. And the, the action scenes were very, very good, very, very well put together. It's something you can say for Netflix. They can afford to put a budget in a film like this. Um, and they, they didn't really scrimp on the budget here. It feels very glossy, very high budget um, and top quality stuff. Um, and what I also liked here again, and I'm not sure a lot of people, they might not pick up on this. I certainly did. Was Eddie Murphy's subtle change to his character they do kind of address his age here in this film whereas you know that that youthful energy he had in the other films that that con he's always trying to run where he's changing characters and trying to full con people and stuff and um you see him kind of attempting that a couple of times in this film and at one point he just kind of gives up he says i'm too tired and then he just kind of becomes himself axel Fowler. Um, so there is an acknowledgement here in his film that he is he's getting starting to get old now, um, but it, it doesn't lean into it too heavily, sort of thing, you know, because he still dresses like Axel Foley, he still behaves like Axel Foley, all that kind of stuff. But you've got the dynamic of him, the relationship between him and his daughter that he's got to try and mend, um, and the fact that you know the stuff that he used to try and do in the eighties doesn't really work anymore. Um, he's got to kind of do things a little bit differently, which he kind of learns a little bit in this film. So yeah. 
I think this is a real return to form for the for the franchise. I really, really do. I'm I, I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit on tenterhooks just before this came out. I'm thinking, you know, the way film audiences are these days, are they going to tear this film a new one? Because they're not particularly forgiving. But thankfully, I think most audiences who are watching this are watching it and realizing what it is. It's a lot of fun. It's uh, it leans into what's come before. It leans, you know, just right into the nostalgia and delivers really a top quality, fun action film um, and a return to form for Eddie Murphy. So, yeah, definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of the Beverly Hills Cop films. Uh, thanks for joining me for this review. I will, of course, be back with plenty more on the channel very, very soon.